Welcome to Angels of Death, I believe is the name of the game. Now, I wouldn't be able to read it, even if it was written in front of me right now, since that's a Japanese logo. <laughs> it's a Japanese game. It's an RPG Maker game. Some sort of RPG Maker. There are too many out there these days. MX, 2000, 2000 and something. Anyway, um, it's episodic. It's story driven. As I said, it's Japanese, as usual with most RPG Maker games. It's slightly horror. And other than that, I know next to nothing, so let's begin. The resolution could be weird since I'm upscaling this. It's actually a really tiny window, so let's read this. Um, yeah. Okay. Game settings F1. I might have to do this. This is the first time I've started this game, even. So. I think I only need enter, escape, and the arrow keys. Maybe shift a little bit. And reset game. Why would you ever need that? How do I scroll down? Immediately, I'm stumped. Okay. Maybe it was just the arrow that indicated that I could continue. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting a good soundtrack, some weird visuals, a hopefully good plot with some non-jumpscare horror elements. And of course we're playing a girl, as usual with the games I play. I'm a girl. Huh? A blue full moon. Is it night? Where am I? Well, I wouldn't know. I was at a hospital. Ah, that's right. I'm pretty sure I was in a medical examination room. You're not anymore. At any rate, I gotta hurry and find mum and dad. Okay. <laughs> Sorry you have to see this. But I need... I need to look into that. Okay. No. Nothing. Nothing we need. Oh. Okay, that's Ray. Also called Rachel Gardner, so I guess Ray is a nickname. Now, it's kind of weird to use my arrow keys. This white chair. Okay, we have some flavor text for everything. Strange moonlight illuminates the room. What a blue and beautiful moon. It doesn't even look real. Maybe the whole game is just a weird fucking dream, like Super Mario Brothers 2? This isn't the same hospital as before. It's always a good start when you when you play a horror game and you you're in a hospital. It appears to be for inserting a key card. Something's written on the wall. Man, it's been so long since I've recorded a new game because of this of a case. Oh, why am I only mirroring in in that one? And no, okay, can look at myself from behind. There's a computer that is turned off. Let me guess, there's a puzzle here. There's a machine with a card inserted in it. It appears the card cannot be taken out. There are security cameras over there. And my reflection is cast in a mirror. Just my usual self. Okay, if you don't notice anything weird... So many games rely on the protagonist not seeing himself. I say so many games. Only Uchikoshi games, I guess. The computer automatically powered on, initiating some sort of program. The info screen is open. Enter data. Please answer the following. Who are you? Name? R Rachel Gardner. Age? 12. 13. Oh, okay, wasn't that far off. So I guess I shouldn't make any jokes about... Let's, let's not even start this. What are you doing here? I'm pretty sure I was at a hospital and when I came to, I was here. Why? That's an awfully inquisitive computer, isn't it? Why? 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 Why the hospital? I don't know, computer. I saw someone. I saw someone die. It happened right in front of me. So I was brought here for counseling. Oh. What will you do now? Leave this place. I want to see my mom and dad. Entry complete. Distributing play start keycard. 
Is this my save file? He's printing out there. The card is sticking out from inside. Acquired a card! Can I get out of this place if I use this? Still, I wonder what it means by play start. Yeah, that's pretty meta, isn't it? Pretty fourth wall breaking. So apparently this game was free to play in Japanese, but they did a translation and remastered it slightly and then sold it on the Western market to gauge the interest for any more entries from this awful or developer, I don't know. It appears to be for inserting a keycard. Items from your inventory can be used in specific locations by selecting them from the menu. Oh fuck. Okay, is this the man- oh. Oh my god, I can save wherever I want. But that's a blessing and a half. Contains a sewing kit and something wrapped in a handkerchief. Is it a knife? What should be a knife later on? Okay, that was actually too easy almost. This elevator, it only has an up button? Wait, where are we? That's odd, I don't remember being here in the basement. And we had a window. So we are not in the basement. Right? At least not fully. The girl on the bottom floor is here. We are here by a sacrifice. All floors, please make preparations. Beyond here lies the play area. The gate will now open. It's really loud again. I hope I can turn it down later on. That announcement just now. What did it mean? Fuck if I know. It appears to be an elevator that goes to an upper floor. The elevator only has an up button. Why would I hold off? There's nothing left to do here, I think. I hope. I regret it already. Floor B6. The elevator stopped. Am I inside a building? Something's not right here. Anyhow, where's the way out? She's pretty calm about this whole situation. I would be freaking out more if I woke up in a place I don't know and no one's around and there's some weird um, announcements going on. Flies buzz around the garbage. And I'm suddenly in, I'm in a room of a street just out of nowhere. There are heaps of garbage. That's not nice for you to, to call me. But where? Okay, I'm up there. Gotta hurry. Why? Do you have any appointments later on? There's a poster, but it's too tattered to make it out. I don't recognize this place at all. Why? Why am I here? There's a newspaper. Would I shed some light on this place? A reckless murder? On date redacted. The body of a male was found on street redacted in state redacted. The body has gaping wounds seemingly inflicted by a sharp blade. Like the one in my handbag? Authorities are treating it as a murder. Since last month, a string of similar murders have taken place in the state. No association or similarities have been drawn with the victim, so nearby residents are asked to exercise caution. An article about a murder. Okay, so this is usually the perfect place for a game to introduce monsters, so let's see. It looks like a back alley, I'm a little too scared to go down it. Guess I need a flashlight. Something smells awful. It's not me. Locked. Jammed. Broke. Shut. Jammed. What? The blood? Or maybe it balled it up building over there. That, that, that can't be. This is the building's basement. Why are there other buildings down here? This whole place is huge and I only just noticed. The door is shut and boarded up. I'm sorry if I give her so much sass, but I can see a brownish red stain in the back of the road. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm just overly critical of horror game protagonists since they're always dumb as a rock. Is that, is that what I think it is? I hope she can convince me of the opposite. I hope she can win me over or something. I need a shovel. I'm certain. It's a large shovel. Looks a touch heavy to carry. Hmm. 
Okay. I mean, you can't even tell that you're supposed to go through this. <laughs> it's looking kind of weird. So before I go right, let's go left first. Oh, a locked door. The door's locked, but there's no keyhole to be found. An emergency exit mark next to it, it says eleva elevator passage. Is the elevator in there? But it won't open. It's not even a keyhole. How am I supposed to open it? I gotta find a way to open this door. Guess I'll take a look around places I've yet to explore. You know there are more than enough doors without keyholes. And usually, you can't really lock them, except if they're electric doors. Okay, this is the only door left. Locked. Hmm. Do I have to dig through the trash, or can I maybe pick up the shovel now, suddenly? No, no. So I hope you're not able to hear my keyboard too much. It is really loud. Fuck me. Why the fuck did I get a mechanical one? It's just lame over here. Oh, maybe I can go in here now. Yes, okay. So it wanted me to explore everything else. It's not dark in here at all. What the fuck is wrong with you? A back alley murder on... State redacted, yet another body was found on street redacted in state redacted. A nearby resident was found in a town's back alley. It's believed to be a teenage boy, but his identity is unknown. The body sustained severe lacerations and the incident is being treated as one of several serial murders. Is his face that fucked up that you can't find out his identity or why is it unknown? Because usually if the family doesn't want to give the personal information away who died, they say so in, in the article, right? They don't say it's unknown. Serial murders. A weird thing to read in a, a hospital, isn't it, Ray? There are traces of reddish-brown splatter of some sort. Ketchup. Some hot sauce. Yeah. It reeks of hot, hot sauce. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Something's inside the hole. I got a key. What door does this key open? The back left door doesn't have a keyhole, so it must be meant for another door? You're acting as if I didn't walk you all the way over there to the other door, Ray. Come on. Oh wait, I could... I could run. Oh my fucking god, that's a blessing. The door is locked. Oh, yeah, sure. Inventory. Inventory. Key. This will get annoying. <laughs> and I'll forget it. Probably for every item. Using the key, open the door. Um, can you open it though? Yes. It looks weird. It looks like a long corridor. No room is made like that. On date redacted, the remains of John Smithy were found in a factory in town redacted, state redacted. Based on the wounds, it is believed to be the work of the serial killer who has shaken up this town. The factory worker, John Smithy, 26, he was really young, was a hard-working, earnest and upstanding young man. The incident occurred on the same day he had excitedly told co-workers that he was getting a new car. This random murder spree has plunged the town into fear. I'm inside a building, aren't I? Yeah. Finally, it's starting to dawn on you that this is fucking weird. I wanna get out of here now. Um, maybe through the sink? There's no water running, okay. Empty. The other ones? Empty. And this one? Empty. Doesn't hurt to try, I guess. And speaking of trying, there appears to be some sort of staff uniforms inside. Do I want one? Storage cabinet. What's this? Some sort of factory machine meter, but it isn't working. So we're jumping through the murder scenes? The crime scenes? Nothing inside the closet. Only thing left in a large box is a single bag of snacks. What a waste for a box this big to be empty. Heck, it looks like I could fit myself into it with room to spare. Hmm. 
Is this a hint as to where I can hide later on game? Because I'm not smart. You need to be more obvious with me. I should really stop giving this game such a hard time. <laughs> I looked forward to playing this. I've been seeing tweets about it and videos and I don't know what and articles all over the place and I haven't watched or read anything that could spoil me on even the tiniest bit of story. But it all looked so interesting. And now I'm playing it and I'm a huge fucking asshole because my mood is weird today, I guess. The door is locked, okay. Old tableware is on the shelf. Wait, what, what about this box? Junk, okay. <laughs> Shit. I mean, it could have been a gun. That's what I would want in a situation like this. Or well, if I could choose, a way out would be better than a gun, but still. So did this unlock anything now? Can I? Oh, that's caps lock, not, not shift. Can I use the shovel now? Yes? No? Okay. Um, can I open this one? No? Okay. Hmm. Must have missed something. Wait, can I go back? Ah, oh, okay, I can't open the elevator. I'm guessing I have to interact with my environment. There has to be something. Oh my god, <laughs> too fast! I'm not furious enough. There has to be something somewhere, right? It's... Give me a second. I'm sorry, the light in my room decided to flicker. <laughs> Give me some real horror feeling, so I turned it off now and I'm sitting in a dark and pitch black room. Well, not quite pitch black since my screen's on, but still. Someone befitting awaits you on each of the floors here. Each are bound by a rule to never leave their floor. If you value your life, you have no choice but to ascend the floors. Okay, so every floor has a monster? Graffiti. How is it that I'm indoors but it looks just like a back alley? Hmm, I wonder what the roof looks like. Is it just metal grating? Is it so high that you can't tell? Because these are all hints about where you could be. No? Okay. I think I've triggered something with this um, text about someone being here. So maybe I have to hide now? Maybe... I mean, this obviously looks like a way, right? But it's locked. So... Backtracking that far? Hmm. Oh wait, what about this? It's just a large box, but it's rusted shut. If only I had the shovel to bash it open. What about the mattresses? No? Oh, leave it to me to play a game for 20 minutes and be stuck already. Fucking hell, I'm too retarded for my own good. Ray, do something, please. Take over. I can't deal with it anymore. Played too many games in my life. My brain is slowly rotting away. Is that is that what I think it is? Oh. Any any more to say about this? Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. It's ketchup. Hmm. Some people like ketchup. I don't. Also, it's not good for you. Fucking ketchup. Maybe the news article again? No, nothing new. Zero murders. Just Ray being oblivious? Well, that too is nothing new. I know no one that's as incompetent as me. 
I guess that's a feat itself, but... Yeah, we've read this one already. I actually wanted to look at what's beside it. This. Some sort of drug. Take it. Storage cabinet. Shut tight. Same here. Large box, but it's rust shut. What about the freezers? I don't know, are they? They look like freezers. The meter again? Fuck. <laughs> Seriously, how the fuck am I stuck already? Am I... Wait. Let's eat the fucking snacks. What kind of snack food is this anyway? My stomach's not growling, but I'm really curious. Then eat it! Did this trigger something now, now that I tried to eat it, or...? Oh, fuck me. Wait a second, what's what's this down here? Is this just an opening? Okay. Uh help me. I'm stuck in a horror game. And I think this is the real purgatory. Imagine being trapped in hell. It's not having to go through all the floors that's really fucking scary. The most scary thing for me would be to be trapped without any escape doomed to repeat what I've been doing the past few minutes for all eternity. It drives you mad, doesn't it? Okay. The sound changed, but... No. No, 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 I've read this. Yes, thank you. Hmm. I might have to cut all of this. <laughs> Makes for no good viewing experience, really. Do I? Maybe she wants to eat outside? No? Fuck, are you serious, Ray? What, what the hell is your problem? Do you want to throw me a bone? Tell me where to go? The tires? No? The shovel? No? Too, too heavy? Fuck you. Try at least. Okay, I'm genuinely stuck, I think. So, what I'll do is save for now. And keep brute forcing. Never stop. Always try to dr take the drugs. Yes, please. Maybe together with a bag of snacks? No? Okay. Just me? That likes to take drugs with a bag of snacks? Okay. What, I want to take drugs right now? To save me from this gameplay? No. God, I'm really fucking... Stuck on there. I need to make sure to edit all of this out. Sometimes the music has this weird stutter where I think that the game is loading something and something's happening. But it must be uh, the moment where the loop begins, so to speak. There's another graffiti up here. Okay, maybe I can interact with these posters now. The first article again? No, no, nothing new in the news. Oh, fuck me. I'm genuinely sitting here with my head in my hands. Wondering how stupid you can be to get stuck in the first 20 minutes of a game. 
Do I have to lure something out? What the fuck? Can I even... The hole? No? Okay. Let's start at the beginning then. It's B6. Yes, it says B6. Is there an exit over here or over here? No. Heaps of garbage. More heaps of garbage. Flies buzz around the garbage. As they do. Eat some. You're hungry but you don't want the snacks. I don't know why. Eat some flies. Stupid little girl. With your stupid messy hair. Look at her. Jeez. That like a coomb or something. Oh, oh. Well, I like to play video games, but I'm not the best at them. <laughs> and I like to blame video games for whatever I do wrong. Inside of the locker is empty. And look, there's a cat or something up here. Could be a ghost. Okay, apparently it's a bird, even though it doesn't really look like one. <laughs> Maybe it'll come down if I offer it some food. Chip, chip. Um, let's give you some snacks. Even though birds aren't supposed to eat snacks. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> Will it eat this? Open the bag of snacks. Okay, now I can tell that it's a bird. Is this my friend for this floor? Will he turn into a fucking monster now? Is it hurt? Oh no, it looks like it's hurt. One of its wings is covered in blood. I wonder if it's because it's hurt. Or because it killed someone. Hey, are you hungry? Eep, eep. Good, now eat it all up now. Yeah. Eat some snacks. You'll die later. You're welcome. You're so precious. Sating its hunger won't help it fly. Gotta make you all better. How? With what? It's alright. Hold still. 